The CPP is unique because this is where it all started. We sprung from our early founders who were the pioneers of wind engineering. You go back to our founders and are working with basic analog technologies back then. Um, everything was reel-to-reel -reel recordings. The founders of CPP had a, a big role in creating the profession altogether. Establishing the principles and writing the ground rules for how you should do this kind of testing. And they were the first ones to actually say, right, we're going to step outside the academic environment and build a commercial facility. You look at your project and you understand that wind has an impact on your, on your project, whether that's a tall building, a hospital, whether that's a solar installation, it doesn't really change. The wind has day-to-day -day interaction with your project. It's the places that haven't thought about wind engineering where people become most aware of it. It becomes extremely expensive to fix these issues after the fact that the building is built. So how should a client experience CPP? It should be responsive. And I think that's one of the things that differentiates ourselves. They know they can pick up the phone and talk to a specialist. We've got a really agile team in engineering now who can do a lot of stuff cross-service and across discipline. Uh, we invested to have two of the most modern wind tunnels in the industry. They're the biggest boundary layer wind tunnels that are in normal everyday commercial use for typical building work. They have a capacity that's beyond anything that we've had before and I think anyone else in the industry has. We've got a bit more height in our tunnels. We have a fantastic what we call blockage tolerance section across our test section and that lets us run models that are a bit larger than we used to which lets us get a little bit more detail in there, a bit more resolution in what we're doing. But we also have another wind tunnel down in Sydney with a very strong team down there. And that lets us provide service to our clients in similar time zones all around the world. And that's something that they really appreciate. So as part of CBP Sydney team, I've had the pleasure of watching us grow from a few people um, who were trying to set up a brand new facility back in 2007 to a yeah, fully fledged independent operation that's got a very talented design team, a very talented model building team, a very talented uh, testing team, engineering team, and a computational engineering team. Um, so once we understand what is the kind actually after, we pick the tool, whether it's going to be a wind tunnel, that is a tool, or whether it's going to be computational wind engineering. Uh, once we have this, our guys in design, they do a fantastic job in translating that into drawings. We take the drawings and we scale them down from big size to, to model size. We put the test building and some other buildings onto our bank of 3D printers, uh, and the rest is going to be cut by foam. We put this into a a very large turntable with a test structure in the middle and the rest of the surrounding around it. Um, and once that's done and once that's all hooked up to our data acquisition systems, we roll into our wind tunnel and they blow some wind on it. And that's the fun part um, for us actually to start collecting some data and then create a report. And then the most important thing is we just don't hand over a report. Many other companies in the world do this. They say, here's the report, we move on. That's not what CPP does. We want to make sure that once you do a wind tunnel test with the CPP that you can understand and that you have access to our consultants who can actually help you with solutions. We haven't had a single client coming to CPP for the first time who said, oh yeah, that's what I expected. Most clients say, wow, I had no idea what, what you guys have to jump through in order to get me those results. Our aim at CPP for the future is to increase how we can add true value to our clients' projects. You know, we want to be at the table with the design team trying to figure out how to truly solve problems that relate to wind and how we can add value both in terms of design or economics back into our clients' projects. We don't see a time, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, where having an experimental facility like this won't be valuable. So in the 30 years I've been here, obviously a lot of things have changed. The company has grown dramatically from 15 to, what are we about now, 100, 120 or something like that. Um, but I think the culture has stayed pretty similar. The three principles really brought to the company the, uh, the concept of innovation, technical expertise, and uh, mentoring. If I hear the engineers laughing, I'm proud of that because it shows us that, that we really get that culture right, that young, brilliant engineers come to us 
um, and that they see CPP as a long-term um, employer and a long-term uh, home for them and, and have fun in, with the work they're doing. What makes me the most proud to be at CPP? I think that CPP has an amazing reputation worldwide. I've had the opportunity to do a fair amount of international travel and I'm amazed at the people that, that know this little company from Fort Collins, Colorado. If the users of those buildings, if the public going past, don't have any thoughts about wind, then I think we've done a great job. If in the next 10 years we can look back and say, the last 10 years there were a lot of work, but surely a lot of fun and we develop things which nobody else in the world has ever thought of. That's what 10 good years for us.